the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, so please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, Please also like our uh, other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing, and all proceeds go to autism research and recovery to help us get that monetized and up and running as quickly as possible. All right, let's get into uh, today's show. Um, Chris Colbert. Um, is a star. A star is born. If you didn't think he was a star prior, uh, well, now you know, because he's absolutely a star. That was an incredible performance against uh, Tug Nyam- <laughs> King Tug uh, Nyam Bayar, I believe is how you pronounce that. Uh, it's, we've seen him now on Showtime three or four times. I'm still never going to get that right. Uh, King Tug is a guy that fought Gary Russell Jr. pretty tough. One round, made it competitive, landed shots. And uh, Gary Russell Jr., you know, if you listen to MCO podcast, you listen to this show, is a guy who I think skills are second to none, right? I mean, he doesn't fight that often. He's, I don't know that he's in love with boxing, um, but his, his skills are incredible. I, perhaps the best in the sport. Uh, uh, Chris Colbert's on the scene now. Uh, and I said prior last week or two weeks ago that Chris Colbert, uh, of course, he was, it could be everyone at 130. Save for Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert's that good. Chris Colbert, um, he gets bored in there because he's outclassing and taking apart world class, world title challengers. King Tug is a good fighter. King Tug can beat a lot of guys. Chris Colbert was playing with them. Chris Colbert's skills, his reflexes, his speed, he's the best already, the best long-range fighter in the sport. He was switching up a little bit to Southport. Don't do that. You know, um, he's so good. Please don't do that. This guy is <laughs> – there. there is a star. I, I don't know what's going to hold him back. Uh, I put it on Facebook that there's been lots of good fighters from New York, some really good fighters. But there hasn't been a truly great Friday in quite some time. Here's your guy, Chris Colbert. Um, there's nothing outside of the switching the south part and, and, and playing around too much, which he can play with this guy, I guess, which is a world-class fighter. But I think he's going to fight Gary Russell Jr. next. And that's not a guy to play with. He can beat him. He can beat him. Gary Russell Jr. can come up to 130, and he can beat him. For real, they can beat him. Um, you know, Colbert can beat Gary Russell Jr., but he can't play with them. I mean, that, that is just a high-skilled, fast, hard-hitting. Look, I, I know Colbert doesn't get knocked out. They sit there and they knock his pound. This guy's not feather-fisted. You can see that when he lands his combinations, his three-piece, like he calls it, his three-piece chicken from his uh, chicken restaurant in New Jersey. But when he, when he lands his combinations, you don't walk through him. Now, I'm not saying he's a he's heavy fisted, but he's got pop. You're not gonna he's like Caleb Plain. You're not gonna walk through his shots. He's got this pop on him. I mean, he can put them together, and he can get wins. Th- th- this is a world class guy. This is a guy who he's 24, I believe. Um, it's already. I don't know how you're gonna beat him. Tank is the one guy I would look at. Can Tank just get in there on the inside? And blow him out. You know, he just get on the inside, knock him out, land, land some heavy shots, and get him out. You know, I, I was texting with my co-host on Mixed Combat Radio, Matt the Hips Hunter, on this, and he said Tank would knock him out. Well, Tank better knock him out because he's not going to win a single round with him. So, whenever he knocks him out, he'd have lost every round prior. That's how good Colbert is. We got a special fighter here, guys. You got a real special fighter here. Um, I don't know if y'all are into it as big as I am, but he beats Valdez. He beats Harry. And I, I don't know what they're going to do with him at 130. Um, he doesn't seem like a company guy. He seems like he wants to be in charge of his own career, and he's hired people that he thinks 
You know, we're talking about, I did a show, you can check it out, Tank Davis, where you know, Tank Davis basically works for his promoter, which is weird to me, right? Like, his promoter tells him who he's, you know, like, Chris Colbert doesn't seem like a company guy. Chris, Chris, Chris Colbert, to me, seems like a guy in charge of his own career. Um, I, I would like to see Santa Cruz to be a fun fight. I, I think he beat Santa Cruz. Uh, Gary Russell Jr., I think coming up to 130, would be a real intriguing fight. Um, that's the fight I really want to see. Him versus Gary Russell Jr. would be high-level athleticism, high-level boxing at its absolute best. Two of the most skilled, most you know, quickest, quick fisted, quick hands, quick feet, quick reflexes, fighters in the world getting in the ring together. That is a great fight. I really want to see that. I think it could get done if Gary Russell Jr. ever wants to fight again. Um, but there's good fight trim out there. I don't know what gets made. Well, I'll tell you right now. Chris Colbert beats Vasily Lomachenko at 130 pounds. I said it. Chris Colbert beats Vasily Lomachenko at 130 pounds. I'm going to put that on Twitter. I'm, I'm going to see who thinks that's crazy and who agrees with it. But I absolutely mean that statement. Chris Colbert beats Vasily Lomachenko at 130 pounds. Um, Colbert's not losing anytime soon at 130. Tank's the only guy. I could look and say, hmm. Tank's got a path to victory. He's got to get on the inside. Can he get on the inside? I don't know. But that, that's what he has to do. There's no other guy I can even say, he, this is how he beats Chris Colbert. Right? It's like Mayweather or, or Kobe Bryant in his prime, right? How do you beat these guys? You don't. They're just better than you. Chris Colbert's already at that level. You're not beating him. He's just better than you. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Were you as impressed with the performance as I am? Also, uh, Michelle Rivera put together a really good performance on that undercard. Um, I thought really, really, um, you know, he got did good, good work in that fight. I think he's, he's definitely got to keep an eye on that 135. All it was a good card. Shout out to my boy, Angel Alejandro, who won um, on the undercard. I uh, believe your thoughts, comments below. Who would you like to see Chris Colbert fight next? Am I getting ahead of myself with Chris Colbert? Do you see what I see? Do you think that this kid is something to behold? Do you think he is New York's next great fighter? Because they haven't had a truly great fighter in a long time. I think this guy is it. Um, please like and subscribe um, to this channel, 3D Boxing. Share it on all forms of social media. Also, please, please, please like our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, quick hits comes at you. Uh, Texas Boxing, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it's near and dear to our heart. Uh, please help us get us monetized. Help us get it up and running. Um, happy 4th of July. America is a great country. It's a cool country, but not as cool as uh, Texas. Um, it is July 3rd, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.